thing about glasses that everyone liked that had little lights on it. So um, someone said, will you do another one? Like review something else. Apparently I'm funny. <laughs> so um, I was going to review my favourite thing. I love a coffee. Um, and I've tried all different types of machines. But I've got one now that um, is dead convenient. I take it when I go to uh, work, schools. Um, I just love it, absolutely love it, and it's dead easy, I was going to show you how to do it, and uh, in the description below, I'll put a link about where you can get them, um, just fab, dead easy, if you spent loads on a coffee machine, I'm really sorry, um, you might be quite upset in a minute, so firstly, coffee, really important, uh, it's my favourite, uh, if you can see this, uh, this is a uh, Hat Hats uh, decaf blend, um, my favourite, um, local to me, Kent Company, um, absolutely delicious coffee, really, really lovely. So what I'm going to show you is this thing, uh, the AeroPress. So I'm not going to bother unboxing it, I don't understand that, unboxing, taking it out of the box, bonus, yeah, great, I don't do that. It's already out of the box, because I'm figuring you can get things out of the box. So the AeroPress, so you have this, which is like a sleeve, I don't know, it's really cool. This, a plunger. Okay, a uh, funnel, uh, a stirrer, I, li I like to call that hazel after my mother, uh, she's not really a stirrer but just in case she sees this it'll drive her crazy, um, and, and filters, filter papers, you get loads of these um, with the arrow press, so all you do is this, um, oh did I say this, I don't know, I don't know what that's called, I think, uh, you put the filter in the thing, and you put it on the bottom of the sleeve, dead easy. Put the funnel in the top, get your Hat Hats coffee or inferior blend if you've got something else. And this takes a little bit of uh, trial and error, but it mainly involves drinking coffee, so <laughs> what's the bad? Um, I have like a level one, drop that in. Back in the coffee and sealed in the bag. Yeah, beautiful. Um, right, so now I've got my coffee in there. Um, take the funnel out. And now I've got to put, and this is um, my daughter designed this, and the school sell them. Um, probably could have had gold plate cut for the same price, but of course, because my daughter designed it, it is, of course, priceless to me. Sweetener, generic, uh, but a stevia based one, so hopefully I won't uh, lose it later in life. Okay, hot water. Uh, I have uh, a Blue Peter kettle, uh, one I made earlier, and you fill this, I fill it about halfway. Okay, so I fill it about halfway. You put this on top of your steaming mug, like that. Just put it down, okay, and then you pour, and I like to pour up to around two, two and a half, um, and you can see it on the side there, okay. Now the instructions say you stir it for ten seconds, so I'll get hazel, and uh, I suppose this is where I should say something interesting uh, or insightful. I can't think of anything. Um, no, nothing. So you're supposed to do it about 10 seconds. Now, I've done it, and already you can see the level's gone down. And um, if I show you, in, can you see inside the cup? Yeah, there's my Americano. Uh, Cafe Solo, Spanish. Cafe Nero in Italian. I'm learning Italian at the moment. Not because I'm going to Italy, just something to do. You then put the plunger in the top. Okay, and press down. Uh, it's not easy, but I'm very, very strong. No, it is easy. Um, if it does get caught in the in the air, you just tip it slightly to the side, and it lets you push it down. And um, check your coffee. And I have a uh, nice big full cup of coffee there. Now there is some uh, left in here, um, which I normally put in the sink. I'm going to put it in this glass for now because the sink's over there. I don't want to go to the sink. So I just 
I've shown how much was wasted. Nothing. All right. Now you know how difficult coffee machines are to clean up. Well, there's my recycling pot because we recycle here. Okay. Unscrew the bottom. Take it off. Push the plunger down. There goes the coffee. Simple as that. There's a little bit on the bottom. Rinse that. Good to go again. And there we have the perfect, and I mean perfect, Americano, Cafe Solo, Cafe Nero, wherever you're from. Nature of the gods. Can't beat it. Um, you won't believe how cheap it is either. Um, so if you've just bought a, I can't use the name of the word, sounds a bit like, and well, no, I can't say Nescafe neither, sounds a bit like that. I've got one of them machines, we know with the capsules, um, Buddy Fortune capsules, but one of them, it's in the garage now, don't use it. Uh, I've had the other type of the machine, <laughs> cost a fortune, clean it up for hours, gets clogged up with um, water, we've got hard water down here in Kent. Um, so it gets clogged up, this one doesn't, um, I'll rinse the bottom of that, ready to go. So it's brilliant to take to work, I take that to work with me, uh, with a bag of coffee, as easy, not quite as easy as instant, but I damn sight easier than the others. So, um, yeah, there it goes, um, AeroPress, Hat Hats Coffee, oh they sell the AeroPress too, I'll put that link in there as well, convenient isn't it? So get yourself an AeroPress and a decaf and tell them I sent you. And uh, they'll, they'll probably charge you about the same as normal. Um, but tell them I sent you. Because then I might get free coffee. Yeah.